And there is this uh, shocking information. There's a travel alert from south of the border. Mexico's president is now warning his people not to travel to Arizona. If you can believe that, that is quite a change. That's the latest salvo over the state's new immigration law. Uh, and there are some very strong opinions mm -hmm. on what the president of Mexico should be saying about what's happening in Arizona. We're going to have that for you coming up in just a couple of minutes from oh, now. So that was All right, well, listen to this. A travel alert for north of the border. It's not something you hear every day. But recently, Americans have been warned not to head south in some cases due to the violent drug wars going on in that country. But now you've got a very different picture. Mexican officials are urging their citizens not to enter Arizona because of the controversial immigration law. Mexican President Felipe Calderon says the law will encourage police abuse, saying that all Mexican citizens could be bothered or questioned without motive at any moment. Let's bring in Mark Levine and David Webb, radio talk show hosts. Uh, good to have both of you back with us. Uh, David, let me start with you. you. You said you think that this this move on the part of the Mexican government is laughable. Why? Well, first thing they have to do is stop printing the maps on how to get into the United States. It's a political play. It's a political ploy. It benefits them if they get amnesty. It benefits them if we have open borders because of the billions that are sent back annually by families. You know, Mark, what do you think? I mean, there, there's no problem with anybody who has the correct papers crossing the Mexican border. You know, they're, they're, they're fine. Well, not really. You know, I've been to Mexico and I've hung out on Mexican beaches. And when I went in the ocean, I didn't bring my American passport. If American citizens were regularly stopped and harassed by Mexican police for being on beaches without passports, we would want our American State Department to issue a travel advisory. Don't go to Mexico. You're likely to be harassed if you don't have proper papers. I don't blame the Mexican government. So, Mark, what's the solution here? I, I mean, you have Robert Krenz, just as an example. I mean, he's, be, he's become a symbol of what's going on down there, a rancher whose family ranched in uh, Texas for the last hundred years, practically. Nobody gave him a warning that somebody was about to come over into his own property on his land uh, and kill him, because that's what the police believe happened. What about that? You, you want you want to know the best way to prosecute that crime? Allow people to come forward. There may well be an illegal immigrant who's a witness who has knowledge of that crime. And if there weren't for this Arizona law, they would come forward, say what happened, prosecute the murderer, put them in jail, maybe even have the death penalty. But because of this law, now witnesses won't come forward. It'll be harder to prosecute crimes in Arizona. That's why the Arizona police were against this law. Yeah. It, well, not all of them. I mean, David, we spoke to the, uh, a sheriff from Arizona, and he said, look, we find ourselves so often in situations where we're, you know, talking to people for other violations and our hands are tied. We, we know they're here illegally and we can't do anything about it. He's saying you have to you have to trust us to a greater extent. We are professionals. We know how to do our job. We're not going to harass people. We want to be able to bring this to people's attention when it's right in front of our faces. Well, first of all, and Mark, by the way, I'm sure you went to Mexico legally, so there's an expectation that you can go to the beach without your papers. Uh, I've actually been to the border, broadcast from the border, sent my producer around the corner to buy some 11 fake IDs in a four-hour broadcast. The bottom line is that there is a problem there. And to the president's point, and that you alluded to, Mark, that if you go to the ice cream store with your daughter to buy ice cream, you could be stopped. You won't be. Sure. If you rob the ice cream store on your way home in the course of that investigation, that's when they could ask you. The president, who is a constitutional attorney, needs to stop leading with false facts and playing a game with this on a political level. We have a problem. The rancher was murdered. The law allows for us for prosecution, and that's our only hope there. Mark, you know, you David, have, that's not you what have, the law says. I, I want ahead. to be clear, though. The law, uh, Section 2, 1051B, says all you have to have is lawful contact, not a lawful stop, lawful contact with a police officer. If that police officer is in the ice cream store with you and you happen to look Mexican, they may well say, well, where are your papers? There's a reasonable suspicion. Maybe you're, you have a few pesos in your pocket, and that would hurt the Mexican immigrant. That's look, fundamentally I, I was false, in Mexico Mark. legally, but I I didn't carry my passport to the ocean. What if a Mexican goes to Arizona and doesn't carry their passport to the swimming pool? Yeah. Would they be stopped? This law requires it. David, I, I think Mark raises a good point here. I, I mean, that
that is the concern. And, and I think people need reassurance that this isn't going to be handled that way. And we all know that most law enforcement uh, is going to use reasonable suspicion in the correct way. But there's always the, the potential that somebody might abuse that privilege. What do you do? What do you what do you suggest about that? Well, first, there's always that potential, Martha. But let's look at what's happened. The governor is also ordered that courses be brought forth for officers to basically indoctrinate them into proper procedures. And that's what we do. And finally, you know, most law enforcement officers are reasonable people. They work on the ground. They know how to work within the community. We've got to have some trust in that. There will always be an, an incident somewhere that brings up that, uh, that point of some officer acting outside of that. But I'm going to put my faith more in well-trained law enforcement officers than in hyperbole being pushed by the president and by the left. All right. We, we talked to you guys but, a lot. So, Mark, I'm going to promise you the last word next time because we got to go. We have some breaking news. All right. uh, but I thank you very much for being with us, Mark Levine. Uh, Thank David you. Webb. Thanks, guys. Breaking news.